to add a Google Slides presentation to your OBS Studio project so you can record, live stream, whatever it is, go down to Sources and hit the plus button. Once you hit plus, my recommended capture method here is window capture. And this is for a lot of people that only have one monitor, or you can have multiple monitors and do this, but it works great no matter what your monitor configuration is. We're gonna call it Google Slides. You call this whatever your presentation is called. Now, before you hit OK here in OBS Studio, make sure that your Google Slides presentation is open in a Google Chrome tab, Firefox tab, whatever it may be, so that as soon as you hit OK, you can find that source here in the list of available options, okay? So what you're gonna do here is select a window from the window drop-down menu. And because you already have your Google Slides presentation open, you'll see it right here, chrome.exe, and then general presentation is the one that I'm demoing for you today. And boom, it should automatically pull up for you here within OBS Preview. Leave the cap capture method alone, use the window match priority that it comes with default, and all you have to do is decide whether you want the cursor to be seen while you're doing your presentation or not. That's up to you based on your materials. Once you get all of this done, you go ahead and hit OK, and boom, there it is. There is your presentation within your OBS preview pane. Here's the actual window itself that I had on my other monitor, and as you can see, as I resize this, it will automatically resize in OBS, okay? So if you go wide with it, it'll resize wide. If you go small with it, it'll resize accordingly. Now, most likely you guys want to present and have it be full screen so all of your content can be seen, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to hit record right over here, hit start recording. Boom, there it is. Then what you can do is minimize OBS especially if you only have one monitor, you can do this. If you have two monitors, you can pull it up on your other monitor and do this. Then you hit present. And what's happening, as you can see from the kind of little yellow lines on, on the very, very edge over here, see the yellow lines along the edge of my presentation? It's indicating within OBS that it is capturing everything within those yellow lines, and that will be in your presentation recording, okay? So that border all around here lets you know it is capturing everything that is currently on the screen. So now you can do your recording of your presentation with your title, your intro, whatever it is. It's recording all of this, and then when you're done, escape out of your presentation, go back into OBS, and hit stop recording and everything full screen will be on your recording okay you'll have to edit it up from there of course but it will have recorded a full screen version of your presentation depending of course on your resolution and your aspect ratio and whether that matched the project that is the easiest way to record a Google Slides presentation where it will resize based on how you're presenting it. And if you'd like me to go through this with you, help you with your business presentations, with your work presentations, I've done this for a living for the last 10 years, awalldigital.com, link in the description below. Just select your day, your time, enter your name, your details, and I'm on a video conferencing call helping you with your presentations. I've done multi-million dollar webinars to just helping regular at-home, work-from-home business professionals knock out their slide presentations.